Konnichiwa. I'm about to land in Osaka, Japan. Xin quý khách lưu ý, chúng tôi xin gửi đến. Every seat has a built-in table. A coat hanger. A cup holder. A slot for putting things. And it also comes with this guide. Here, pressing this button, we can adjust our seat. Then here, we have an armrest. And the giant window. Here is how the Japanese people eat ramen. Here is my dinner. It's ramen. Mmm, it's so good. Here in the center of Osaka, Japan, lies a historical castle. I am near the entrance of this castle and I will show it to you guys. That is the castle I'm talking about. It's the Osaka Castle, one of the most popular tourist destinations in Osaka, Japan. Since here in Japan, it's very hot, I got myself some shaved ice. It should be very refreshing. Let's give it a bite. It's very good. The sweetness of the mango and the refreshness of the ice makes it a great treat.
from the top of the Osaka Castle. I'm here in Umeda to eat lunch at a Japanese restaurant. First lunch in Japan. It should be good, right? It's a rice set. It comes with some rice with pork. A cream, some noodles, some tuna, tempura, and some egg with different sauces. So let's start it now. Time to eat. First, we're gonna try the rice bowl. It's really good, it's really soft. I like it. Next we have the noodles. They come in a cold broth. It tastes pretty good, but uh, I'm not a fan of cold noodles, so uh, it's not for me. And lastly, we have the tempura. I'm so excited to try this one. Unbelievable. It's so good. It's crunchy and the seafood inside is just fabulous. I just walked out of the train station and immediately I saw this tower. It's called the Kyoto Tower. Whoa! I'm on the top of the city of Kyoto. This is one of the best observation points in Kyoto. You can see the whole city from here. On top of every window in this observatory, there are the names of some famous places. For example, the perpetual government seat is 3.6 kilometers from here. So it's pretty far, we can't see it. But, do you see that temple right there? That may be Higashi Honganji because it's only zero point because it's only zero point two kilometers from here.
the narrow roads in Japan. Streets in Japan. So peaceful. Iyazaka Temple. A temple in the middle of the city of Kyoto. Back to Osaka, I made a stop at Fujini Inari Temple in Kyoto.
This is the entrance of a typical Japanese restaurant where I will eat lunch today. Let's go in. Black tea has arrived. Japanese noodle set called somen. It includes cold noodles, toppings, broth, I think they are meatballs, and traditional Japanese tea. It's so hot here. Every 10 meters I have to get a drink. Ah, so refreshing. I took a local train to Sumiyoshi Taisha to visit this shrine.
What you just saw was the last temple I have visited. The area I just showed you had red flags, but this area has pink flags. I'm at the train station now. I'm waiting for my Rapido train to go to the airport. Today is the day I leave Japan. I'm on the Rapido train to go back to the airport because today I'm leaving Japan. I'm a little bit sad. My six day trip in Japan was awesome, but also a little bit pricey. I really like the food and the modernness of the city here. It's very detailed. And I also like the Universal Studios a lot. But there's also some more boring parts like Nara because they're just gears and nature there. But if you're a nature lover, I recommend you going to Nara. Also, I have a little problem that I think Japan should fix. You see, every time I drink a water bottle or eat a quick snack, I left with the wrapper and I don't know where to, to, throw, to throw it away because littering Japan is illegal and there's just no dustbins around so I always have to wait to go back to my hotel and then throw that away which I don't like so uh, please fix it if you can. I also want to talk about the food in Japan. In Osaka you'll see more meat and teppanyaki and in Kyoto, you'll find more ramen and noodles. In Nara, you'll find more uh, traditional dishes. And uh, that's it. So uh, if you like this video, please like, subscribe. And I have a new channel. Check it out. It's DanielAround.World. So bye. See you in the next video.